with the Gears of War collection all but confirmed at this point in time, guys, I want to talk about everything that we won out of the Gears of War collection. Um, assuming that it's going to be coming out, guys, I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and opinions here um, and the things that I want to see out of the Gears of War collection. I'd love, some of you would probably agree with some of these things. Some of you may disagree. I'd love to hear the things that you want to see out of the Gears of War collection in the comment section down below. So let's get into it. So guys, I'm going to give you five things that I want to see out of the Gears of War collection coming in at number one. Even though I think that this is probably, you know, there's been a lot of rumor that, you know, the Gears of War collection is going to be Gears 1 to 3. Um, there's been some rumors that it's not going to be that. It's going to be, you know, something else. It's going to be like a Marcus Phoenix collection. In my mind, though, we got the Gears Ultimate Edition, was, which was the Gears of War remastered game, which I thought, you know, was pretty well received by everyone. So I don't necessarily need to see Gears of War 1 um, brought into the, uh, into the, the Gears uh, of War. War collection. If they want to do that, that's fine. But I personally want to see Gears 2, 3, and Judgment. I want to see those three, even though it's not necessarily the Marcus Phoenix collection at that point. It's the Gears of War collection, right? Um, if they put one in there, it'd be cool to see Gears 1 to Gears Judgment. I think that would be really cool. Even though I thought Gears Judgment was kind of the dark ages of Gears of War, I think bringing that into the Gears of War collection would be something special. I think that they could definitely maybe make that game a little bit um, well, better received, I guess you could say, with some updated graphics and things of that nature. So for me, guys, I really want to see Gears 2, Gears 3, and Gears Judgment in the Gears of War collection. Coming in at number two for me, guys, I would love to see some existing maps, of course, um, some existing, you know, weapons, things of that nature, but I'd also like to see some new maps. I would love to see some new maps here in the Gears of War collection, just kind of a tease, you know, because I think this would be a great opportunity for the Coalition to kind of show off a couple of things that maybe they're thinking about putting into gear six, put in a couple of new maps, put in a couple of new weapons, maybe even a couple, a creature here or there, you know, from the locust horde, that's a little bit different. Um, just to kind of see what we as the community think of it. I think this is a great testing place because if we're talking the gears of war collection being the bridge between gears five to gear six, and this one's going to take us, you know, maybe, you know, if, if Gear 6 is coming out in 2024 or 2025, this will be a great bridge game. So I think they could really implement a few things to see, you know, what we think of it as a community. That being like new maps, some new weapons, things of that nature. Coming in, guys, at number three for me. I would absolutely love to see Gears and the Coalition take, you know, a page out of uh, Halo and 343 Industries uh, book. That being making the multiplayer or some of the elements of the Gears of War collection free to play. I would absolutely love to see the multiplayer modes become free to play um, for just, you know, for the general public, whether it's like a certain modes, maybe I wouldn't say necessarily like horde mode or whatever the case may be, but I would say like having a multiplayer that is free to play similar to what Halo did with Halo Infinite. I think that's very important, especially moving into gear six. If we want this to be a sustainable title, I think free to play has got to play some role or part in that. So I would say that a multiplayer modes in gear six, uh, or I should say gears of war collect, should be free to play and then they can kind of see the general reception around that and then they can implement that as well into gear six coming in at number four guys we got the program update from gears esports that gears of war is uh in the coalition is going to shut down uh gears esports at least for the time being um, that being said, I would love to see Gears Esports return with the Gears of War collection. Now, how that would look and what modes they would use, which game they would do, all of those things obviously are to be d d debated on for sure. But I would say, guys, bringing back Gears Esports into the fray is very important. And I'm going to be doing my part to, if Gears Esports isn't back 100%, um, doing our part to make sure that the competitive scene is something that we continue to try to uh, build uh, to Gear 6 so that when Gear 6 comes out, if the Coalition decides not to bring Gears Esports back for the, co uh, for the Gears of War collection, bringing it back for gear six is absolutely imperative in my in my opinion for the long withstanding future of gears of war esports has got to play a part in that gears esports in my opinion is the greatest third person esport 
in the world. And I don't even think it's close. I mean, yes, I know Fortnite is a massive third person shooter and obviously it's a bigger title than Gears of War, but I think that Gears Esports needs to continue in some way, shape or form. Um, and we got to be the ones that, that do that. But I would love to see Gears Esports return with the Gears of War collection. And then lastly, guys, at number five, I really would love, one of the biggest uh, cri uh, criticisms of Gears 5 was the rank-up system, and just how the rank-up system didn't really feel very good, didn't have a lot of, you know, great unlockable items, the ranks weren't that great, things of that nature I really want to see improved upon here with Gear the Gears of War collection, because I think that's one of the things that brings you back to the experience over and over again, if you have a really good rank up system. If you have, you know, really good unlockable items, it keeps you going back over and over again. Instead, you know, having earnable items rather than payable items, it's fine to have things that you can pay for, but the earnable items should be like the prestigious items that you can't buy. The things that you have to earn, I think is makes it, you know, you br come back to the experience over and over again. I think that's going to be really important moving into the Gears of War collection and into the future of Gears of War. But let me know, guys, what do you think about that? Do you guys think that, uh, you know, uh, all of those things are things that you would want to see? Do you think there's different things that you want to see? Let me know in the comment section down below. And for more Gears of War collection, content, and videos, stay here with Zero TV.